in August 2011. I moved from the Berkeley Oakland border to the locks on Cerritos Road. Because in Berkeley, everything gets really diffused pretty quickly from all the fog and the atmosphere. Here, it's like crisp, 40 miles away. So it was a big, a big shock. When I lived in Berkeley, I didn't really get a chance to be outside as much. And and now that I'm living here, I'm spending time outside pretty much every day. And you know, I couldn't help being influenced by what's around me. I, I definitely feel like the landscape is affecting me. When I first moved out here, my initial watercolor studies were uh, were monochromatic. I think I was just painting monochromatically because it was really teaching myself how to paint the landscape. But once I dialed that in a little bit better, then I started incorporating color. Watercolor, once it goes on, you can kind of loosen it up and dab it out and lighten it, but not like acrylic ink. The acrylic ink is much riskier than the watercolor, and it's totally waterproof, so every little waver of your hand and everything is recorded. With this body of work, I'm really focusing on the interconnection with with humans and nature. There's chaos, but there's also some sort of way that these things are being organized. With the patterns and the images integrated together, the patterns represent our human filters of how we're interacting with these places. Most of the patterns I use are human-made constructions. I'm not trying to illustrate scientific concepts. I'm just trying to find a process where I can really be intuitive. Because the paintings are really structural and could I could get bogged down in all the details. I don't really focus too much on making the lines perfect. I just try to move through the process as where I can really be intuitive and get into the flow. But since I got the good news from Form and Concept, there's just this new like inspiration behind all that. The deadline of the show and the excitement of actually getting my work out of the studio has definitely kind of lit a fire under me. I feel like I'm just getting started and I feel like I just want to keep rolling with what I have. I'm Matt Mullins. I'm showing my work at Form and Concept.